Hey everyone, in this video I will be talking about openart.ai. So this video is going to be showing you uh, the basics on how to create art using openart AI, what you can use openart AI for and what you can do with it and how to actually do uh, a few things with it. So um, basically let's start off with actually saying what openart AI is. So it is basically a platform uh, just like Midjourney, if you have heard of that, is going to be using AI technology in order to create or remaster uh, images. So it can create AI images for you using prompts. So you can just type in whatever you want, and then it will, based off uh, what you wrote, it will create a, a AI image that you request. It has multiple models to choose from uh or like kinds of ways of how to draw the uh, the product the final products uh and uh you can also it's not just creating a prompt putting it in and then it creates an ai image for you you can also have a um like an image of your own that you can just put in uh, open art ai and then you can just type in prompts so you can create or make it more it's really up, up to you for example i'm just going to give you an example just to not make it complicated uh, here this image we will see a person uploads the the original image of this chair and then they ask uh generate more uh, design ideas and then the open art ai is going to do the work for them and it will actually generate images with different ideas for the same kind of chair so as you can see it's going to be very uh useful so it's not just about creating a uh, art using ai prompts actually it could help you with your designs so you can just ask yourself how I, how can i use this ai to benefit me or my business i'm going to be showing you all of those things so here we can see explore ideas with a thinking partner uh, it's basically just going to help you uh, create more um ideas for designs maybe or really you can do whatever you want you can just put an image and want it in a different type of style you can just type that in and it's all up to you so we can also th uh, see things like realize your creative vision promptlessly you can upload a sketch as you can see for this example and then they say color it and you can see the result here so you can really upload any kind of sketch and you will see it come to life uh using the simple prompt just say color it uh, and also you get full control when it comes to creativity creativity colors that kind of thing so to get started you just go ahead open art.ai and then you should create an account there so once you create an account you should see this uh dashboard over here where you will find home uh, and discover this is going to be basically where you find other people's work and you will also be able to see uh, the prompts that they put in in order to get the art that they have. And you can also search for specifics. So here for this example, I search for volcanoes because they kind of look cool. And we can just browse other people's works and we can just click on one of them and they will show us the prompts over here. So... Uh, let's talk about how actually to get started with creating. But before that, let's I, I, before I forget, uh, it's it's not going to be for free completely. So as you can see, the start the plans that they offer, they do have a free plan which comes with fifty trial credits, uh, which will allow you to experience all uh, the features from these plans, uh, and also other things you can do. I believe that they, there's unlimited uh, generations with specific models for the free version. Uh, but then we've got starter, uh, hobbyist, and pro. You can just come over here and compare the, the features yourself. I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a lot of time. You will see what works for you best and go for it. Most, most notably, uh, the credits. 5,000 credits for starter, 15, and unlimited for pro. So after we compare the price, also I just need to note one more thing before we get started. Uh, the credits do not roll over to the next month. So if you left over 4,000 credits, if you have started uh, the starter plan, 
next month they will disappear so make sure that you use them wisely before the month ends because it's not going to roll over to the next month so to get started we've got multiple ways we can start working on our uh creation first we can just click on create here which will allow us to create things from scratch uh, or we can just search for some design that we like we click on it uh, and here we got two options either remix which will give you pretty much the same thing but you can just adjust the um, the details of it or you can just copy the prompt uh, after you copy the prompt you can just go ahead and click on uh click on create and it will take you to this page right here which you will find these options right over here so you've got to create or edit edit is going to be for uh, other pictures that you have you can just put it over here by clicking on this picture and you can just upload a picture and edit it over here with the prompts uh, or we got the creation where we actually create a image so uh, first the prompt is going to be where you put uh, whatever prompt that you want. Uh, the negative prompt is going to be the things that you don't want in the picture. So, uh, for example, if you just want nature without people, you just type in here people and then here, obviously, nature. Uh, model is going to be the models that you will choose how the picture looks like. So this makes sure that you choose the model that you want image to image is basically when you upload an image and ask them to choose a different design for it which i will actually do right now so let's upload a chair image so until it finishes loading we will see the other stuff here we've got control net and we've got generation config which is very important here we are going to play around with these settings to make sure we've got the best settings possible uh, and then upscale and enhance if you want to upscale or enhance you can do that from here uh, using this tool right here okay great so once the image is uploaded uh, let's say go to the prompt and let's say we just want a different design for this uh, so first we just type in uh, provide or no just type in different designs for the chair Okay, so this is what you type in for the prompts if that's what you want. And then we go to generation uh, config. Here we will see the number of images. Let's just keep it at two. Uh, the scale is going to be pretty much uh, like if you want it to strictly be about the prompt that you put in, you increase it. If you want it to be more creative and does its own thing, really you just make it less. So let's just make it as let's just make it actually creative so it's up to you if you just wanted to stick to the prompts that's also up to you and then the steps is basically going to be uh how much time is going to take to actually create it the more time it's going to take uh the more like refined and detailed but it's not always the case sometimes it actually goes uh kind of weird when you increase it too much i suggest that you keep it uh, 25 or if you want to go up we can just go up to uh, i don't know 40 for example don't do too much don't do too less and then here the rest if you know what to do with them do those uh, after we are done with the model uh, prompt and config we can simply just create variations and we can just wait and we will see the different designs for the chair that we have here that they will provide for us so we chose two images and it's going to provide two images. So here we, will, we find the first one. So this is the first design that they give us. It's not particularly great, but we can keep on creating more stuff and we will see how, how, how it goes. Again, it's also not too good. Maybe we can just adjust a few things like here. Let's not actually increase it. Let's make it quick. Maybe if, they, if it thinks too much, it makes it kind of uh not so good actually instead of actually creating a uh, another one let's actually do our own prompt to this time instead of actually giving a different design we can just paste the volcano thing and just change a few things uh 
so let's let's actually keep it as it is and type in with lightning and the background and then we just click on create again remember the config that we want is going to be the uh make sure it's is correct and we will see it will generate two pictures for us with the prompts that we have so this is what you really can do with open art ai uh you can actually do plenty of stuff really so you can just play around with all of these options here the model image to image you can just play around and it will create different results for you uh the the more detailed the prompt is the the better the result is so i really suggest you do the method of copying somebody else's and then you just delete some stuff work on some stuff tweak them to be more fitting for your uh results that you are wanting and um yeah it's very very simple really so i hope this video kind of gave you a general general idea on how to work with open arts it's very simple and that's all i have for you for this video so thanks for watching